Welcome back to yet another interesting video based on IoT system. So today we will be discussing the fifth protocol of IoT that is AMQP that is the Advanced Messaging Queue Protocol. So uh, without any further ado, uh, let's get started what is the AMQP protocol is all about. So this is the uh, framework or the diagram of how the AMQP sits in the IT infrastructure. So uh, we go with the name first of all we have the advanced message queuing protocol so simply from the name itself we can uh, figure out that it's a message queuing protocol and you just see a prefix that is the advanced message queuing that is the advanced before message queuing protocol and why not only message queuing protocol that is MQP and why it's advanced message queuing protocol AMQP so well advanced stands for the advanced business which is currently booming in the uh, banking sector banking industry so for all those transactions which happens daily for net banking your upi or any other bank based kind of applications which happen in all these banks so for that iot systems have been specially designed this AMQB that is the advanced message queuing protocol so its applications are mostly used in the banking industry banking sector so let's see where it fits actually so uh, you have your own enterprise here so this is a building which is your enterprise and you have this uh, amqp aware services so you have different kind of service integrations uh, like c c++ java ms uh, then your jms that is java messaging service and windows uh, that is foundation and your uh, cloud applications uh, next talking about the clients we have the amqp aware clients which are either devices or workstations and then we have uh, some orders at suppliers.com some orders from suppliers and then we have some treasury for funding at fundmanager.com and these contribute these two contributes the business partners and the sub services now uh, this is the amqp infrastructure where amqp uh, sits in between all of this so you have some kind of databases here which inserts and just updates or which is used for reference kind of activities and these are some temporal databases which is used for intermediate transactions like for any transactions which happens uh, in a daily basis so all those are being logged in this individual small small databases and then finally at the end of the day these are being sent or stored to the cloud so this is how the amqp works so let's see about a bit theory of what this AMQP is. So basically it is used for sending transaction messages between servers and mostly between servers for a banking industry or banking applications. So like in the DDS we have seen DDS is a middleware which is a data centric middleware but AMQP is moreover a message centric middleware and it is from the banking industry designed specially for it to serve and process thousands of different messages reliable queue transactions now uh, in banking industry like you now for a particular day of time all the transactions won't happen at a particular instant of time so it has to wait for some particular time or a interval is there so for that you need to maintain a queue specially for that so like after the queue is processed the next item it will go uh, one after the other so basically this also possesses uh, publisher and subscriber mechanism or a uh, framework is there in that way but then a message queue or a transaction queue basically sits in between the publisher and the subscriber so whenever publisher sends some messages it will be logged into the message queue and it will reach the subscriber at the other end uh, let me give a simple example to this like since i am the publisher to my uh, channel and you all people are the subscribers so whenever i upload a chain of other videos so it gets uploaded uh, onto the server so it gets uh, just like logged into the queue so after uh, the very first uh, one is being uploaded the next one is uh, given for uploading and so it fits in a queue so basically then one video second video third video and in a similar fashion so like you have first message second message third message and also it all gets logged inside a queue and then after some particular time its processing is done then it is sent to the subscriber uh, then this uh, AMQP sits over the TCP for reliable point to point connection which is used for establishment and uh, the endpoints which are there at the other end that is at the destination it has a acknowledgement acceptance of each message that it uh, has a receipt basically so any message and every message which is being sent 
uh, it then returns back a acknowledgement or a message that this message has been received or this message has been sent from that end to that particular system or the endpoint. So all these things are there in AMQP. Then there is an optional activity of commit sequence in multiple phases or multi phases. So this basically means that uh, there may be n number of different phases like uh, in uh, mobile banking or net banking you have uh, login functionality or fund transfer, NEFT, IMPS, then your UPA and uh, many such kind of things. So the, they are being categorized or classified into different number of phases. So if at any point of time any kind of uh, transactions fail or if kind of abortions occur then there is a commit sequence which is uh, specially designed by AMQP for banking phase. So like uh, at any instant or at any phase that particular transaction gets aborted due to any kind of issues then there is a commit sequence which is auto triggered after every particular uh, time interval. So that's very uh, essential in banking industry for to have an end to end uh, transaction phase. So it focuses mainly on tracking all the messages and ensuring each is delivered as intended regardless of failures or any reboots or uh, system downtime or uh, power shutdowns or any other activities which occur in the banking on a day to day basis. Then this is mostly used in business messaging and devices are simulated as mobile handsets communicating with back office data centers. So you have two kinds of uh, things you have front office and back office back office is the uh, back-end systems now physical bank where you go and clear your check or deposit your cash that is the front-end system the other end is the uh, data centers back-end data centers where all the uh, database and servers are being configured so this protocol basically sits over there while all your uh, check clearing and transactions and all those things happen so uh, the data is being uh, sent or it's uploaded there so from there you can get an acknowledgement for your transaction or you get a message while uh, somebody uh, credits to your account or you withdraw some amount so that basically is happening by this of amqp in iot systems now uh, if you want to control any plane or server based analysis function like you have to uh, see or for the logs uh, you have to monitor for the past 10 years what kind of data has been sent or uh, what was the transaction log so for all those things amqp is best suited for this in iot systems and it is uh, most widely used and it's the most booming kind of protocol in AMQP is uh, uh, for the tomorrow's protocol for IT systems. So well that's all about the AMQP messaging protocol in uh, IoT systems. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found you got educated by watching this video, please do like, share, comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.